Fantastic, baby. Shaking some serious booty, some 100 K-pop lovers gathered at Skate for the K-pop dance-off. Celebrating its one-year anniversary, the bi-monthly event featured a survival dance competition for the first time to test just how K-savvy these K-pop fans are. More than 20 contestants were whittled down to 10 winners through elimination in the Know Your Dance contest. Participants had to know the steps to whatever K-pop song was blasted over the speakers. One of the winners, Iman, aka Sir Vanity, calls his brand of K-pop dance the Singapore Rojak style. Other dancers have like one specific movement, like some are hip-hop, some are popping, some are techno, some are dubstep. K-pop mixes all of that into one beautiful dish. I call it the Rojak, Singapore Rojak, you know. There's like the egg and there's the bread. It's like all everything combined together and it's very interesting. It's like no one gets bored of K-pop. For another winner, Iza, it's evident that she wants nobody, nobody but K-pop. Mm, I think the music is much more different and uh, compared to American music. Like it gives us a variety like, and it's like very catchy to our ears. Organized by Scape and run by youth volunteers, K-Pop Dance Off has opened up a dance floor to the public since last July. Tara and Nicholas, who are both volunteers at the event, are K-Pop dance fans themselves. In fact, Tara has been a volunteer since the event started. Um, well, Scape provided us with the venue and we decided to gather a group of like-minded people together to come and organize something where everyone can just dance freely instead of like in competitions or anything, just enjoy the music and the dance, yeah. It's grown by number because the, base, the first one basically was like 50 people or lesser and now it's like there's a whole lot of people coming in. About a couple, and, couple hundred probably you can get up to. And people are walking by and look, just looking at us dance. And sometimes even even strangers who don't know the dance just randomly come in and dance. It's really good to see you know people from all walks just, of life just, just coming, coming in and, and just dancing because that's what it's about you know just dancing for free and for fun. These K-pop dancers, who are regulars on the K-pop dance-off dance floor, work really hard to master and remember the dance routines so they can flaunt their moves to fellow K-pop fans as well as passers-by. How many songs do you know the choreography to? If I had to list the songs, it would take a year because I learned too many songs. And I've also adapted some of these songs to my style, so I think I learned a lot. I think a bit too much. My mom is a bit unhappy I learned too much songs. She thinks I'm better off in school. About maybe, not a lot, maybe 12 or 10. How do you learn and how do you practice the dances? Mm, usually I will learn through videos because usually in YouTube they will mirror the moves so that it's easier for us to learn. And when I, when I get the moves already, when I memorize it, I usually come down to escape and, and practice it out. I wait for my brother and my, uh, my sister to leave the house first. I lock the door. I on I go to internet, I go to the YouTube web channel, I type in the dance and I write the middle version. And I just learn from the video. But it's a bit embarrassing to learn at home, so I must wait for the right timing. If not, I have to dance at Chef Mina in the kitchen, where no one's awake. Watch out K-pop stars, because in the next clip, some of these die-hard fans issue a dance-off challenge to K-pop's most well-known artists.